you ready? This is my new whip. First time I've ever rode pegless and brakeless. And I've rode it twice now and I'm, this is my favorite park bike I've ever had. Not just saying that, I'm truly hooked on this thing. And I, I rode pegless growing up. I was pegless gyro coming into the game when I like fell in love with park riding and all that. And then full-time pegs and then moved, took the brakes off. So then I did brakeless with pegs. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever done brakeless, pegless in one bike. And it's, it's perfect now that I have two bikes because my other bike is four pegs, free coaster, big old plastic pegs, it's like a full street machine. So might as well just go the full other end and have a 100% park bike. And I still got my pegs if I want to grind. I can still got my brakes if I go to a big set of trails, but this works perfect for all the local setups that I love. So brakeless, pegless, this is it. We're going to start from the bottom up. Let's do it. We got the, uh, we're going to start on the tires. These things are the Odyssey Super Circuits. And when I put these on, they were a game changer instantly, like smack and coping with light tires and they grip like crazy and they're strong. You can case coping, whatever, like I'm, not the smoothest rider by any means and these tires hold up and i even throw the two bolitos in there too for extra light and it just feels so good like the control that the bike has without that rotational weight cover up those two bolitos with some black tape thank you two bolito for hooking it up but you know i don't want the orange i like the black all black so two bolitos super circuit odyssey tires and even though these tires and tubes are light i got the strongest wheel set you can get with the um odyssey vandero front hub and the hazard light rim doing chrome on chrome corey walsh chase hawk inspired i love that style first time i've ever had all chrome wheel set up too since like alex triple walls in the 90s i think so yeah that's the front wheel the back wheel back hub cassette with the park bike free coaster is dope on my street bike but i love cassette in the park it feels so good not having that that gap in there you just boom just get on it get on the gas 28 two 28 tooth Boyd Sprocket, my boy Boyd, Boyd Hilder. That's the cool thing about Odyssey too. When I got on there, I didn't really even need any signature parts. I got to look through the website and there was already something for me. The Boyd Sprocket with this, uh, what do we call this thing? The Anigram back cassette hub. It's a perfect little combo. I can just get on the gas, 28.9. That's my size in the parks. And then we got these two piece Thunderbolts. These things are badass. My first time ever running two piece cranks too. They just slide together like some some insane engineering with these bad boys. Everything just slides together. You got the little skirt in there and boom, you don't got to touch them, tighten them up and they're good to go. So we got this whole drivetrain set up right here with the cassette, get on the gas with that thing. These teeth just grab and go. And this chain, I've had people in the past with the bike checks and my chains on backwards. I don't know what's up with that. People always tell me my chains on backwards, but I don't think it matters. So backwards, forwards, I'm not sure, but this little half link Odyssey chain, badass little little bit of looseness in there i don't like the chain too tight and where are we going from there and then i guess we can move on to my haro parts we all know i've been on haro for like 15 years so and these are my signature parts the frame sd v3 the forks these are the v2 sd forks and the pedals sd pedals so like i said i've been on haro for 15 years and if you know my riding this is the geometry that matches pretty much being able to works in the parks it's the same frame I ride on my street bike, same fork, same pedals, everything. So got to design all this. Odyssey already had the stuff I liked, so I didn't have to design anything. And then Haro with them for 15 years, got to design this frame, perfect geometry for everything. Forks, pedals, all around Haro machine right here. And then we can move on to this Odyssey headset, spacers, all that good stuff. Like I said, insane engineering. It just slides together. When I put my first Odyssey bike together, I was amazed by how good everything was my boy Corey walsh stem right here this whole bike's kind of Corey walsh style too the pegless fast and loose i'm excited no grinding at the parks anymore just hauling ass and smacking my tires around and doing stuff like that but i got this big old stitch seat because i still like to do suicides and double bar spins and all that stuff it's a big dog seat but it's also not crazy you know it's like it stays out of the way but it's big enough for suicides and grabbing it for cannonballs and superman sea grabs all that the odyssey stitch seat Boom, strong. So it's not all fast and loose, you know. I got a, I got a grip right here, about a handful of seat posts. Odyssey Pivotal, all matches up good. And then these bars, the Odyssey Super Highway, nine and a half inch rise. I chop them down to 27 and a half wide. That's what I've always liked my bars at. I think they come in 29. I go down to 27 and a half. 
nice room for the bar spins right there. You know, I like to chuck them once or twice and then I throw my ODI grips on. They are the extra soft, extra long, long necks. I chop the flanges off, put some WD-40 on, slide them on backwards. They're good to go. First session, they're already broken in. ODI bar ends. And that's pretty much my bike. We got the ODI hookup on the grips, Odyssey parts, bottom to top, Haro frame, fork and pedals. Been with them for like 15 years, so you know I got to put a lot of input on these things. So Odyssey, Haro, pegless, brakeless. This is my new park whip. Hyped on this thing, so we'll be riding. I got the gyro still in a box, so might put that on for some big trails and whatnot, and I got the peg still. But right now, pegless, brakeless. I'm gonna try it out, I love it. Fast and loose, Corey Walls, Chase Hawk inspired. Except for Chase has brakes, but. That's it. Odyssey Haro. Yeah, it's good to go, baby. And it's light. It's light and strong and sturdy. Exactly what I need. That's the chain flopping around. I might need to tighten that a little bit. But yeah, that's my bike right there. New whip. Let's do it. 2024 and on. Well, we'll see. I change it up a lot, but this is my park whip right now.